Good afternoon, YouTube. I'm still at Grand Lake St. Mary's, and here we've had these problems with these algae blooms. And this, and this water right here definitely looks like it's having some problems with algae. This is very green looking. So this has been an ongoing problem. This is a boat ramp. So this has been an ongoing problem here for the last several years a couple ducks or whatever over in that area but this has been an ongoing problem you know for a long time i've already made a few other videos but this right here definitely does not look does not look too good right here so you know only time will tell if they'll ever be able to get it fixed it took years or probably decades to get in this shape and who knows how long it's going to take. Yeah, this water is... Ugh. It doesn't look... It doesn't look good at all. And, uh... As I mentioned in the other videos, you know, they've had a lot of problems. This is on the northeastern shore of the lake. On the very edge of St. Mary's and the village of Villanova there to the... To the down this way right here to the north and to the west but anyway this has been an ongoing problem for a long time and 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 out, out of all the areas i've seen of the lake this one probably is the worst one i've seen so far but i'm getting ready but i'm going to explore the southern shore of the lake because i believe they're having a lot of problems with that too but as I mentioned, you know, my ancestors and many people that have German ancestry have very strong connections to this lake. This was built by German Catholics as well as a few Irishmen. It was built as a feeder lake for the Miami and the Erie Canal. The water depth here is only about three or four feet. It's pretty shallow water, but you can see it's it's def it's definitely not good because this water looks really this water looks really bad right now. It's and we've had a lot of rain this summer, not as much the last six weeks, and I believe I've re been reading some stuff that the algae levels at the lake have been up this year probably for that reason and the person who's running the who's running the uh restoration commission he said there has been noticeable improvement in and others have said it's uh not getting any better you can see this thing about the algae blooms and here you can see right here this picture and that picture is definitely indicating of what's in the water. And you see a lot of the leaves too, so this lake is definitely ailing. It's it's very sick. It's it's I mean it's gonna take a lot. So we've seen at least three of the eight things on that board on on this part of the lake right here. So it's it doesn't look good. It's a very sick body of water, and I don't know what it's ever going to... Obviously, I think regrowing some of the vegetation. You know, letting some of the vegetation grow back around here, as well as getting the farmers to use chemicals that are not harming the lake are ultimately going to be what it's going to take for this lake to have a chance to be able to thrive again. Boat ramp rehabilitation. But anyway, that's going to be it for this one.